Who's parents aren't home where you can crash for the night or hang out for the day until you're kicked out. A vehicle that has petrol in it for as long as it runs out. A few dollars for fish and chips. But all of that is shallow and lasts for but a moment. When truant students are sent to my office, I listen to their excuses. But really what they're saying to me and what they have convinced themselves of is that it's cool to leave school without any qualification. For them, it's easier to be a victim for the rest of their life. They don't want a job. They don't want nice things. They don't want to see the world because they'd rather pretend that they're a big person in Norton or Dinsdale or Western Heights or Piawa. You're funny now when you're just a little person. Sadly, for those students, their future is predictable and seemingly hopeless. The saddest part is that they don't see it for themselves. If they left the comfort zone of Norton, Dinsdale, Western Heights, or Hamilton, they wouldn't survive. They are more likely to be the thing who is used and repeatedly knocked down and out by the big world outside of Fraser. Not a person anymore, not a unique individual with the potential to develop awesome talents, a thing. Very few experience a light bulb moment and realise that life doesn't have to be this hard. And living doesn't have to be an endless cycle of being broke all the time and having nothing or being dependent on a parent. Once you're an adult, it's harder to get yourself out of those ugly and dark situations. Worse, as an adult, you don't get the option of doing a detention or a stand down or writing apology letters. As an adult, there are no teachers to encourage, to support, to nag, to fix things, to believe in you. There are no parents or caregivers to see the principle to fix your mistakes. You and I know that the only way is to do the mahi now, the work now. School is not easy, but it's a lot easier than having no hope and being cast aside and dumped without any worthwhile future. Worthwhile future. Every student who walks out of the gate to Truant is already a statistic of the worst kind. Highly likely to go to prison. Either commit domestic violence or be a victim of domestic violence. Be illiterate be a rape victim, be a suicide victim, be unemployed for the majority of their life, have a major health problem or problems, die at an early age, have an addiction, drugs, gambling, alcohol or smoking. The more you truant, the more likely you are to end up as one or most of those statistics. I don't want you to be one of those statistics. Economic research confirms everything I am telling you. It's been proven. And some young people at Fraser today are still proving that research to be true. That same research has a flip side. For those who gain an NCA qualification when you leave school, the higher the qualification, the more likely you are to lead a satisfying, fulfilling life, earn more, be fit and healthy, and live longer. As some teachers like to tell you, it's not rocket science. If you need help and support to learn and achieve and to get back on track, 
it literally doesn't grow in the trees at Everboil Park or outside my Wat Intermediate or sitting holding hands with your friends on the grass curb at the bus stop on Waimali Street. Exactly. Help and support is not at the fish and chip shop or at the dairy or in town. The people in those places, they just want your money. They don't care about you at all. You mean nothing to them. You're just money walking in their door. Help and support is here at Fraser in the health centre. Some of your subject teachers, the heads of faculty, the heads of department, the deans, the DPs, any staff member here at Fraser. Any staff member here at Fraser. And me. When I drive out of the school grounds during class time for meetings in the city, and I see groups of students sitting outside the dairy, the fish and chip shop, the bus stop. Some of the things I'm thinking are, that's another group of students without a future. That's another student who end up a statistic. That's another loser. That's another wannabe who won't find the parent with some lame, sad story. That's another student who's desperate for friendship. That's another person we've lost. You're smiling now because you know it's true. You may even be one of those people. You think it's harsh. But if I don't tell you, who else is going to tell you? In every class, your teacher has what you need to move to the next step toward your future goals. Don't let that teacher or anyone else hold you back from moving closer to your goals. It takes commitment, effort and courage. You will need courage not to get sucked in by peer pressure by what's supposed to be cool right now. Have a vision of when you leave school with your higher qualification. Those so-called cool things and people will be of no consequence because you will have left them behind at the bus stops at Piawa, Dinsdale, Western Heights or Norton. That's if they can afford a bus ticket that their mother paid for that morning. For every student who attends and then leaves Fraser at the end of their full schooling, we hope that you have the skills, knowledge and found your talents to help you to be financially independent. Free from violence. That you possess the confidence to back yourself throughout your life. I'm going to end by quoting our Prime Minister Jacinda Ardu. Quote Great feats are not great, not great because they were first or because they achieved some measure of publicity but because they took effort, <laughs> commitment, and courage. Some of the most extraordinary things are undertaken without fanfare or acknowledgement. They are accomplished by just getting on with things, by people who consider themselves ordinary. Within the ordinary sits the extraordinary, end quote. The ordinary for all of you is to attend your classes and do the work. Learn with purpose, engage with pride, act with respect and dare to succeed.
so you can achieve the extraordinary when you leave this place to be financially independent, free from violence, and have the confidence to back yourself. For the rest of the week, I hope it's a good one. If you're struggling, go and see any one of those support people. Teachers, can you please leave? So all those wonderful sports teams, if you've got trophies, can you...